This is my car. It's a 1999 Dodge Durango. I brought it new back in 1999. And uh, the paint job on it is still pretty good. I've had some areas where the clear coat is peeling away. Yeah, let me show you some of those areas and uh, I'll repair those myself. Back on the back end here. Hope the tailgate is. There's some peeling of clear coat here and here. It was on my passenger door here where about uh, two years ago, maybe three years ago, someone etched a uh, deeply etched a swastika in my door. So uh, I took it down to a uh, paint repair shop to get an estimate on uh, what it would cost to have it uh, repaired. Just get an overall paint job. Uh, they wanted more than what the car was worth. Cars pay for. It's a very strong runner. Uh, there was some uh, clear coat peeling right here. And I decided to go ahead and do the job myself. So I sanded it down and uh, primed it, put a base coat on it, put some clear coat on it, sanded it down, and uh, compounded it and polished it. It looks pretty good. It's not a perfect job, but it will do. I did the same thing on the door here. Not a perfect job, but uh, I can live with that. It's not bad at all. Uh, the bumper, I redid the bumper. Lisa sanded it down and uh, primed it, applied some clear coat and uh, sanded it down, compounded and uh, polished it. And so it's pretty good. Uh, prior to this, it had uh, some uh, rust spots, but I got rid of those. On the driver's side, uh, the vehicle, the paint job is pretty good. Now, I do have some areas here where the weather stripping has basically eroded away. Um, I have a solution for that. I'm going to go ahead and scrape this off. And this is just a project. And then I'll apply some rubberized uh, undercoating to this. And it'll last for a very long time. And the same thing is on the uh, other side. Uh, right here. And that's minor. I don't have any leaks inside the car. On the top, uh, there are some imperfections there. They're very easy to uh, repair. Again, a couple hours of work. I have that taken care of. Nothing urgent. But uh, overall, the vehicle looks uh, very good and it runs very good. So let me show you the inside. I'm going to go ahead and approach from the passenger side. And here's the front cabin. As you can see, it's uh, it's a very clean. It's almost spotless in here. The carpet can use uh, some cleaning, but it's not it's not filthy. It really isn't. I put some seat covers over the leather seats. Uh, the leather seats are just fine. The seat covers are there just to prolong the life uh, of the of the seats. And if we peer out in the back here, we can see the. Um, the rear seat and there's a third row seat back there and let's open the uh, back door here and uh, there's the uh, third row seat these seats are they look brand new all this is original equipment in here uh, looking to the front I had some minor uh, ceiling liner or roof liner come down. That was easy to repair. Very easy. If I can do it myself, I do it myself to save money. Let's open up the third. Uh, let's take a look at it from the rear here looking forward. And that's what we have. I have some of my camping gear back here. I 
I did some repairs uh, back here on the uh, this door panel here. There was some uh, clear coat peeling here. And over here, I took care of that. There's a small spot there I need to take care of. Nothing major. Uh, let's take a look under the hood. I could buy a new vehicle, but I don't see the need for it. This is paid for, it runs strong. There's nothing wrong with this vehicle. It's a, uh, a V8. See here, Dodge Durango. And if you look under the hood, look at that. It's clean. This vehicle has been uh, with me to Thailand when I served as a foreign service officer over there for three years. And then after that, uh, this was in uh, Africa with me for three years when I served as a foreign service officer there. This is a very reliable vehicle. And I would never part with it unless I somehow told it or there was a catastrophic mechanical failure that was beyond economic repair. Makes no sense buy a new vehicle to keep up with the Joneses when this serves its purpose and it just runs. It can pull just about anything. I put it to the test many times and uh, I love my Durango. Okay. There you have it. Thank you.